Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Can't believe it's been two months since my last criticism video. And for good reason, because I really didn't have much to rant about. Until now, that is. Now, if any of you remember a couple months back, when Niantic mentioned they were bringing Mega Evolution at long last to Pokemon Go, you noticed that I wasn't too thrilled about it. Can, not gonna go into that whole thing. I already made several videos on that. But bottom line, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Although, I am the very small minority. There's plenty of you guys that absolutely love this mechanic and won't stop bragging about how amazing it is that it's finally arriving to go. Until when it was actually released, that is. Now, if there's anyone that remembers a specific quote from that particular video that I said... So yes, enjoy these Mega Evolutions all you want without me. Leave me out of this shit. And, all, and when Niantic freaking paywalls this shit up the ass, and you're complaining, I'm gonna be sitting in back laughing right in your face. Gee, look who's right. <laughs> yes, as I predicted, Niantic has heavily monetized this feature. And I can't say I'm really shocked, to be honest, because with a mechanic being so overly popular, the, the writing was on the wall to try to milk it for all it's worth. Again. However, funnily enough, I actually undersold how monetized this was going to be. Yeah, it's actually worse than what I thought, and that's actually saying something. <laughs> So let's see how Niantic handled this over-prioritized, unbalanced, gimmicky way of favoritism now, shall we? Well, you ha um, one, one thing's for sure, and I did call this, Megas are raid exclusive. I did mention that. However, uh, one thing I was wrong about was that you do not catch the Mega Pokemon when you complete the raid. Oh no. They actually made it more douchey than that. <laughs> now, I thought that they were going to be permanent beings once you catch them in a raid, and then that's it, you have the Mega Pokemon, but that is not exactly how they decided to handle this. Instead, you gain Mega Energy for that specific Pokemon that you battled. Currently, I think the three uh, Kanto starters and Beedrill are the only ones available. In order to Mega Evolve any of them, you need to have Mega Candy. Uh, because, of course, it's Mega Candy this time. I remember that I said something crazy about, oh, maybe they'll sell Mega Stones in the shop and they'll break after three uses. But to be honest, what they did here is even worse than that. In order to obtain Mega Candy, you need to participate in these new Mega Raids. And by doing so, and defeating them, you earn Mega Candy depending on how quickly you are able to defeat the raid. Now, you are able to earn anywhere between 30 and 50, it looks like, according to my Discord. Uh, you, usually, it, usually, the average is around 40. Now, here's the thing with that. You know how when you battle a raid, and you are able to attempt to catch the boss, and let's say you do. So, it's a pretty much one, a minimum of one raid, and then the, the Pokemon you're after is yours. This is a little different than that, because... The, <clears throat> the requirements to unlock each and every Mega is substantially high. And by that, I mean it is 200 Mega Candy to unlock said Mega. With every additional time you Mega Evolve being a quarter of that, which would be 50 for the Kanto starters. Now, this wouldn't be so bad if there weren't so many things that make this damn near irritating to obtain. One of which is, it's absolutely 100% impossible, regardless if you are unlocking or reusing Mega Evolution, to earn enough energy for one raid with your free pass. Impossible. Maybe you might get lucky and get 50 Mega Energy, but the, that's, that's few and far between and requires a lot of people. That's another thing, too. These Mega Raids are treated as 5-star Legendary Raids, so you cannot do them by yourself. You need to find 
several other people to participate with them. Which, for rural players who don't have a lot of gyms, or a lot of players around that still play the game, that sucks. So they're already, once again, excluded out of this. I mean, for the better, to be honest, but... Okay, I'm kidding. I know there's a lot of you that like it. I'll stop with the comments. For now. The thing that makes this absolutely absurd, and completely not worth it, is the fact that when you Mega Evolve, you only get four hours of time. To quote Angry Joe. Four hours of Mega Evolution time. And much like the Lucky Eggs and Incense, the timer goes down when you're not using the game. So you better find a perfect time to use that said Mega Energy. <laughs> Another thing too is the Raid Candy is not universal. So if you want a Mega Venusaur, you have to do multiple Mega Venusaur Raids. And same goes for Charizard if you want both of his forms, too. So not only do you have to constantly keep doing these raids to unlock all of these, but you also have to physically find the raids, too. All of this is just a complete shit show. What the hell was Niantic thinking? Well, the answer's obvious. Money. <laughs> but, good god, this is absolutely worse than I thought. Having you do one raid and catching a Mega Pokemon is what I thought, and that's not even close. Hell, the whole thing with buying a Megastone that breaks after three uses would be less insulting than this. So, in total, you would have to do around five to seven raids in order to unlock your first Mega Pokemon. So that's five to seven days, or five to seven dollars, just to unlock one Mega Pokemon for four fucking hours. And even so, most people are reporting that they keep getting 45 candies and not 50 out of the uh, every raid after that. You, I think you need a good 15 plus people in order to stand a chance, which keep in mind, that's 15 bucks per attempt right there if you guys want to max out the profit there. But even so, you're still, you still have to do a minimum of one or maximum of two raids just to keep Mega Evolving your Pokemon over and over again. And the th one of the things that absolutely pissed me off is the fact that they're making these Megas completely overpowered on purpose. Yes, I did the math, and Mega Charizard Y is 65% more powerful than regular Charizard. I don't even think that's the case in the actual games. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know shit about Mega Evolution, but that still doesn't seem right. I don't... It doesn't... Like, even 50% is pushing it, but 65 Actually, it's 64.8484, but whatever, I'm rounding it up to 65. That's still ridiculous. <laughs> They're pretty much obligating you to do this. Yeah. As of right now, at the time of this video, though, the things that are not allowed, which I thought, they're not allowed in gyms. Thank Christ for that. And they're not allowed in the Go Battle League yet. PvP, yes. Like, regular ones with your friends, yes. But not the Go Battle League yet. However, there are tournaments coming up that are excluding Legends, but it does not say anything about excluding Megas at this time. So, if these things are allowed in the GBL, so help you. You're going to deal with the same shit as me back in Omega Ruby, where if you choose not to use this mechanic, you already forfeited. You already lost. <laughs> so don't even bother. Oh, that feeling sucks, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. You know exactly how I feel now. There's also rumors about uh, Team Rocket dudes having these uh, Mega Evolutions as well. And all I can say is, is if you thought Cliff's Tyranitar was bad when it spammed Bite, imagine if that thing can Mega Evolve. Once again, you better quit if you don't decide to use it yourself. <laughs> This is the thing that I can't fucking stand. I knew it from the very fucking beginning that this thing was going to be monetized. And hell, it's way worse than I thought. <laughs> I ca it caught me off guard at first. I'm like, at first, I was laughing my ass off. Of course, because you know me. I'm a hater of Mega Evolution. I had, I had to laugh at everyone complaining on Twitter. Actually, <laughs> it's the first time I ever, ever was happy about looking at anything on Twitter in my life. Go and it's all about make, looking at other people suffer. Yeah. But, but then after the fact, I'm like, 
holy shit, this this is not even right. I mean, I, at first, I like I said, at first I was laughing my ass off, but now I legitimately kind of feel bad. <laughs> I legitimately feel bad because there's people that legitimately want to use this mechanic, and they fucking can't because of all these restrictions. And if they can't, they're going to be handicapped so bad. It, it really baffles me, too, with this whole pandemic going on, and now Niantic's throwing this thing in there where you have to battle, like, a maximum of seven rages to get one mega. That's seven remote passes, which you have to spend money on, unless you want to physically go to every raid yourself with every single day, which is, face it, it's a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> Not to mention that there's medals, too, so if you're going for that completionist, that's more shit you have to do on top of that, along with the hundred buddy thing. Yeah, you... <laughs> I'll tell you about that gripe real quick. I, at first, I'm thinking, oh, that's not that bad, until I had to do a series of calculations on that, and it would take... And if you were constantly grinding, getting berries every single day for 20 Pokemon a day, it will take you exactly 375 days in a row to get that gold medal. I guess it's better than spending, like, $2,000 on raids to get the Mega Metal. Good luck Mega evolving 500 times, by the way. But many of you don't even give a shit about the medals, I know that. You just want your favorite Megas, for sure. I get that. It's no different than possibly Dragon it being locked behind the Paywall and Sword and Shield and the Crown Tundra if that happens. If the Data Miners is true. Yeah. I know how it feels. It sucks. In my case, it's I chose not to use it and I got screwed. In many others' case, they're being forced not to use it and they're getting screwed anyway. To be honest, I don't know what's worse. But either way, Niantic, and, or Pokemon Company rather, it's probably them more than anything else, because this is the same freaking company that decides to add a stamina system to Pokemon Masters one year after its release. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Corporate decisions are freaking insane sometimes. Now I could just say, fuck it, I don't give a shit about Mega Evolution, haha, in your face, and move on, but I will show some sympathy for once. This is what should have happened. Oh gee, deja vu. I feel like I've said that at least 70 times this year. <laughs> but this is what should have happened. You should have greatly reduced the freaking candy amounts, or hell, give one megastone per raid, Niantic. One megastone per raid. Why can't that be a fucking thing? Why do you have to grind so many times just to unlock one mega evolution? I mean, I understand the reason why, but it's still absurd. People were looking forward to this mechanic. Since the game was released in Gen 2 was a thing, like, three years ago. And this is what they have to look forward to. Literally, it's it's like, like holding your hand like this, demanding money, and then when so people are like, what the fuck, you just do this. You should have just handed one Megastone per raid. And you should have extended the timer for more than four hours. Don't make it permanent because that's stupid. Mega Evolution should be temporary. That I get. But because, to be honest, if you were to make them permanent, then that just completely ruins all the regular forms and they become completely useless. I've already gone into that argument many times. And you have to appreciate the original before you can uh, accept its higher forms. The same thing goes, you have to appreciate Charmander before you can appreciate Charizard. So the same thing goes for Charizard, for Mega Charizard. But still, four hours is pitiful. Especially with the way you have to bust your ass for seven days slash seven dollars. And keep in mind, you still have to find a bunch of people. People who are in the suburbs or whatever, or rural areas, are already fucked. Unless they want to, unless they have a bunch of friends, maybe on Discord or something, and have to use remote raid passes from God knows where. This system is nothing short of a cash grab, especially if later on down the road it is heavily implemented in anything PvP related, whether it's gyms or GBL. This needs to change, Mantic, or else you are. This is probably going to be one of the biggest backlashes of all time. Dare I say? Probably be a mega sized backlash. 
can't believe I fucking made that joke. <laughs> Still, things need to change. This is the reason why I fucking quit this game. So long ago. Fun fact, I tried to make a comeback and do some walks here and there. Until I realized that so many other medals I want take so freaking long to grind. The buddy one is the one that killed me. And now this one, where... I, the reason why I won't do it is because I have never mega evolved a Pokemon once and I refuse to. So, obviously I'm not I'm not going to go against my own promises for a stupid little metal on a screen. A, a freaking JPEG image. No. <laughs> I'm sticking with my Hill-Megas policy because that's what I believe in. So I'm not going to... But for those who really do enjoy the mechanic, I do feel bad. At first, I was laughing my ass off, and in a way, I still kind of am, just because... Well, more so the people that have, like, heavily smacked me across the face with insults, all of you I'm laughing at. But for those who legitimately are good-hearted and are open-minded and really wanted this mechanic to work, it just simply doesn't. If you want to use it, you have to spend money. And if you don't want to use it, or you simply can't due to many, re many like, excusable reasons... You're screwed either way. This this is going to change the game and not for the better. And something needs to be done before everything goes completely out of whack. Now, I can finally stop talking about Megas in Pokemon Go. Oh, thank God. I need to go wash my mouth with soap. But for now, I'm going to go play some Fall Guys instead. Because, seriously, anything is better than this game.